Incredible Hulk and Bruce Banner. <laughs> and the situation calls for higher level functions like talking more or less coherently with world leaders and being able to read, the PM is your man. <laughs> but if what's needed is trashing of international progress on climate change and the Murray-Darling Agreement, Barnaby Smash. <laughs> But this strength is also their weakness. How long is this double life sustainable? How many times can you wake up with bloodshot eyes and your pants torn to shreds? <laughs> or in the case of the Hulk and Bruce Banner metaphor, much the same thing. <laughs> London, meanwhile, has amended its parliamentary register of members' interests to record the Nationals' change of leadership as a gift. And Albo was quick to nail a soundbite. Instead of rolling out the vaccine to the Australian people, they've just concentrated on rolling each other. <laughs> Cardamom Pie, Anthony Albanese's press secretary, you wrote that, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yes. <laughs> of course, there have been the usual fawning puff pieces you get in The Australian which describe Barnaby's return to the leadership of the Nationals as being like a dog returning to its own vomit. <laughs> Now, if you're lucky, the dog will eat its own vomit, so the owner, in this case the Liberal Party, doesn't have to clean it up. Anyway, the, the article goes on to sing the praises of Mr Joyce, saying that he is a divisive and discredited politician who suffers from a delusion about his ability and that it's hard to think of a politician more egotistical or narcissistic, that he's utterly self-centred and self-absorbed, has little credibility, is a turn-off for most voters, has a bumbling manner, is a wrecker and a spoiler and a dinosaur and will be a walking, talking gaff machine. <laughs> So, your typical right-leading Murdoch press propaganda there. <laughs> but amongst the glowing epithets was a quote from Barnaby himself, which I think is one for the ages. No economy, including ours, can afford to buy all the economic toilet paper in the supermarket. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not sure what economic toilet paper is, but it does presume the existence of an economic arse. <laughs> uh, no. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, it's Barnaby. It's Barnaby. He's only been back, back in the job a week and, uh, and look how he's lowered the tone already. <laughs> so, all in 